Hi everyone, it's Justine. If you clicked on the video, you already know what it's about. It's not clickbait. I'm not trying to make you click on a lie. I am leaving Berlin and I want to tell you about what happened, why I'm moving, where I'm moving and everything you need to know because you're not up to date right now. So we need an update. Where do I start? First, my state of mind in the last two years or so, state of mind sounds very dramatic. Um, I like it. <laughs> COVID, working from home, um, being bored every day, looking the same as the previous one, which I don't like. Um, it's, it's not my style, it's not my personality, not knowing when it's going to be over. I mean, I'm not telling you something that you don't know. I know that tons of people around the world have, ex have been experiencing the same feelings, the same blub of being in a limbo and not knowing when and what to expect. Um, I like to know what I'm doing and where I'm going. So this, this waiting, whew. <laughs> um, yes, they say in German, the, die Decke fällt mir auf den Kopf. <laughs> the ceiling is falling onto my head. It's a pretty good metaphor, I think. Then there is everything that's happening in the world in recent months and years. Um, which I have no control over, but that do bother me. Like climate change and not enough is happening. Like a war starting at the door of Europe. It feels very close. Um, a pandemic, inflation, the world kind of going into an authoritarian direction. I wish I could care less <laughs> because it's like way out of my scope of influence, but I do care. And so it's, it's weighing me down. Then I missed traveling. I missed my country, my Heimat, as the Germans say, it's a very good word. We don't have it in French. We need a translation for that one. I guess I'm missing the fun in my life. And if you're thinking, well, that's up to you, you're completely right. It's up to me and I've built a career where I can do kind of what I want or be more flexible about the way I work and where I work. And yet I managed to get stuck in a routine that simply doesn't work for me. In a nutshell, I got to a point where I was in the doldrums professionally and personally. And for me, that's the point where I know I need to change something radically. It's not the first time that I've done it in my life. I've switched careers already. I've switched countries quite a couple of times. I went solo backpacking on the other side of the world for three months when I needed a break between jobs. Um, I'm not a beginner here, but I was at that point again where I knew, ah, uh -uh, it's that time again, if you know what I mean. So there is this uh, thinking process on one side and on the other side, there is the real estate market. <laughs> for the last couple of years, I started thinking about buying a, a little apartment somewhere to basically stop paying rent to other people and start paying into my own property. So I was thinking about it, looking at flats in Berlin, thinking this is way too much money for what you get. Uh-uh, nope, not worth it. Then I looked into other capital cities, other large cities, because I like the city. I like being able to go to museums, restaurants, have the mixed cultures around me. Um, a very international surrounding is something that I thrive in. But at some point, I also looked just out of fun, you know, out of curiosity at real estate in the south of France, like in the middle of nowhere. And I found that villages in the southeast of France, where I was looking, are not expensive. They are so much cheaper than in large cities and you have great weather. <laughs> you have many more square meters for the same price. You can have a garden. You have, in terms of quality, the houses are a lot better. They're older, made in stone, you know. And I was thinking, a little flat in Berlin or a super nice house in Provence. <laughs> On top of that, the way I work is that I don't have to be in a specific place. I do need a lot of space. I have a lot of stuff for the videos and for the fashion design. But if I have my stuff with me, that space can be anywhere in Europe. And then last year, because of the pandemic, I decided that I was not going to start a new 
project, a new, a new collection, before the logistics madness of the pandemic um, would have calmed down. I did launch a collection in the pandemic, which was the Mirage collection. My pride and joy every day. <laughs> it was my most successful collection so far. I'm super happy with the designs. Everything's fine. Everything's great looking back at it. But while I was in the process, the quarantines, the lockdowns, the businesses shutting down for, for weeks at a time, um, the insecurity of not knowing, am I going to be able to launch or not? Some regions of the world shutting down again, the post services not getting their orders to my clients. Um, it was a lot more than if you run a similar project in a time of non-pandemic. <laughs> And I came very close to burnout. I didn't talk about it on YouTube or any other uh, of my socials because it was way too close. Like I was in the middle of it myself and I, I needed to process it. And I made it to the other side eventually without burning out. But and that's a story for another time. But I decided that the next project will be once things have calmed down for all those reasons. <laughs> And because of my state of mind, I thought, okay, this is the right time to make a radical move. A long story short, boom, I'm moving to Provence in the south of France. So it's not exactly the region that I come from. Uh, if you're not French, you're sorry, this is all the south. <laughs> France is a small country, so it's all similar. If you're French, you know it's not the same, but it's pretty close. What is not close, <laughs> what is very far, is the nearest train station or airport. I don't think I've ever lived that far from an airport in my life. But I have a whole new region to discover right on my doorstep. So I'm more than happy to, to trade the airport for Provence for now. Well, I'm trying to think about the questions that I think will come up when you watch this and you watch me going like, <laughs> changing lives. Is this move definitive? No. But I will spend the summer here for sure. Enjoy the amazing, amazing weather. I had forgotten how good summer in Provence or in the south actually is. Highly recommend it if you have the opportunity to take holidays and, and visit this region. Fabulous. The food. <laughs> and then what happens in fall? Well, that's a question for later. That's a question that will keep for full. <laughs> what does that change for my label? Not so much because I can work anywhere in Europe. So I'm just going to be, instead of being in Berlin, I'm just going to be in the neighbor country. My shipping team, my inventory, where the people are shipping my orders, so clothes and jewelry to the world, remains in Germany. For them, the process doesn't change. However, I'm looking forward to being able, being in France, to travel around the country, get to know designers here, getting to know the fashion industry, the suppliers, the fabric producers, the dyers and everything. So it's going to be uh, very nice to get to know my own country in the end a little bit better. What does that change for the channel? Well, for me, clearly, I will have so much more space to work. It means that I can start filming a video like this without having to switch up everything in my office because it's too small. So it's going to save me a lot of time. It feels like I have huge rooms um, to um, find nice corners to film in. If you look at this, I mean, <laughs> this is not my Berlin flat. Eh? So nice. I think that here the chimney doesn't work. I'm going to put an iron bed. It's going to look fabulous. <laughs> this house is wonderful. Absolutely beautiful, but it does need a lot of renovation. I'm going to spend some time renovating it. And I really want to research the authentic way of doing it, like how houses in that part of France looked like 300 years ago and renovate the house um, properly, you know, kind of to back to its origin. I'm considering filming that process. If you're interested in this kind of video on the channel, well, let me know in the comments if you would like to see the renovation, the before, the after, the in-between and the thinking process behind the renovation. That's something that I'm, I'm really looking forward to. And I guess personally, most importantly, I see this 
summer, this season of my life as a slowdown period where I am taking a deep breath. I'm enjoying the fresh strawberries of the market in the town next to my village, enjoying the sun. It's pretty fabulous, I have to say. It feels both familiar because it's France and I know the country technically and I know the language and exciting because this region specifically, I don't know so well yet. I think that's all I wanted to tell you for now. <laughs> Do you have questions about me, about the house, about Provence, about the renovation plan, which doesn't exist yet, but will eventually? <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the discussion and, and, and to your reactions. So let me know down below. See you soon in a new video. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet and you're interested in following along on this journey, don't forget to subscribe. Now is a great time, um, a time of change, really. <laughs> you can also find me on Instagram in between the YouTube videos and come and visit Provence with me. I haven't quite realized yet what is happening, but it's in the process. It's in the process. Um, take care. Bye.